Hi, I'm Bill Sheehy from Latin American Masters Gallery in Los Angeles, California. And I'd like to talk a little bit about the work of Diego Rivera. Uh, Diego Rivera was a great Mexican artist, um, born in 1886, uh, died in 1957. He spent the early part of his career, he left Mexico in 1910, went to Paris, spent 11 years in Paris. And in that time, um, actually became a significant contributor to uh, European modernism. Uh, uh, he did some great paintings in a sort in a Cubist style that were uh, important last and of last lasting beauty. They really hold up. Uh, but by nineteen, uh, by the late nineteen nineteen, uh, he was no longer interested in uh, Cubism. He was looking for a new way forward, and he um, he went to Italy and he studied the uh, frescoes, that is large wall paintings done on, on plaster uh, uh, from the Italian Renaissance. And he took that knowledge, that technical knowledge with him back to um, Mexico in 1920 uh, to do uh, a series of uh, public murals uh, in Mexico City uh, on which his uh, reputation uh, largely is based. Um, the problem in doing those murals was to decide what the imagery was going to be because uh, Mexico had just gone through a revolution and was uh, disengaging from uh, um, colonial rule. Um, you know, a lot of people were trying to figure out what it was to be Mexican. And Diego had that same uh, issue as an artist. What was the imagery gonna be of this work? So he, his real inspiration came um, largely uh, from a uh, trip to uh, the Isthmus of Tehuantepec in uh, the state of Oaxaca um, in 1920, where he saw a lot of the beautiful Tehuana women, uh, very regal, very strong, um, he saw the working men, he saw them all engaged in a natural environment far away from the industrialized wor world and the, um, the, um, the ceremonial accoutrements of the Catholic Church. And, and he realized in that vision that he had something that was um, really uh, very, very connected with the uh, ancient pre-conquest uh, history of Mexico. And he integrated that into a series of very important uh, uh, murals, actually his masterpieces, at the National Preparatory School and a bit later at uh, Chipingo Chapel in Mexico City, in which he, 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 he created works in which the common man, the working man, the uh, everyday laborers, uh, uh, women, uh, communal groups were all captured and glorified uh, by their mere representation on large-scale murals. Um, the mural mov movement itself had really kind of dissipated by the late 1930s. And throughout the uh, 1940s, uh, up until uh, the late 50s when he passed away, Rivera concentrated on easel painting. And he did some very good paintings in that period. In fact, one could argue that his best easel, easel paintings come from that period. Uh, the painting to my uh, to my left here we'll be talking about in another talk, but uh, I hope you found this uh, conversation on Diego Rivera a bit edifying. If you'd like to know more, I'll be doing a couple of other videos. Thank you very much.